Okay, hope these videos help. <coughs> Anyhow, so the last case of the right hand rule, uh, case three I call it, I mean there's no particular order to these things, but the order that we've done them in class is be the third case, is to find the magnetic field, the direction of the magnetic field due to a circular wire or a solenoid. It works for either case. And it's basically really easy because I think uh, in the context of this class we're only going to be doing um, circular wires in the XY plane or solenoids uh, directed, uh, you know, the pass through the XY plane. You could also do it like this, which is which would be like the YZ plane or something like this, but it's kind of complicated and, and unnecessary. Let's just stick to the XY plane for this for these cases here, okay? So suppose you have this loop represents a uh, current going around in some direction in, the, in, um, in a wire, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, the question is, how do you find the field at the center for a circular wire or the magnetic field everywhere for a solenoid? Because remember, um, we only know how to find the magnetic field at the center of a circular wire, but for a solenoid, uh, we know how to find the field everywhere within the wire. It's constant. Uh, with it, everywhere within the solenoid, it's constant. So suppose you have a wire going around I'm sure I can use this thing as a guideline yeah yeah it worked well it worked okay yeah it doesn't matter okay so suppose you have a suppose you have a current going around in say a clockwise fashion okay the third version of the right hand rule so you have a current going around like this the third version of the right hand rule says you curl your fingers now in the direction of I. So I'm curling my fingers clockwise. When I curl my fingers clockwise, it means that um, my thumb is pointing in the negative Z direction. The direction of my thumb points gives you the direction of the field. Magnetic field produced either at the center of a circular wire or inside the entire solenoid. So if it was a circular wire, for instance, the B field would look like that. Be an X, meaning it's going into the plane. Uh, this is a, let's just say, circular wire. Okay? Suppose you have a circular wire and the current's going the opposite way in the counterclockwise direction. So let's try that. Okay, I don't know if you can see these arrows very well, but nonetheless, it's going counterclockwise. Okay, so you, so you have a current going around like this. So you curl your hand in the direction of, of, curl your fingers in the direction of the current flow, so it's like this. And to do that, my thumb points up, which is in the positive Z direction, which means that the field at the center for a circular wire would be in the positive Z direction, and that's that's it. That's how it works. That's the third version of the circular of the right hand rule for circular wires and solenoids. If it was a solenoid, it's the same thing. Except um, you know the field everywhere within the within the wire, within the solenoid. I've been saying wire, it's a solenoid. So um, if it were uh, say clockwise just to practice, it's the same as the wire, but just to practice again, if it was counterclockwise, uh, not clockwise, not counterclockwise, if it was clockwise, to, turn, to twist my fingers clockwise, I'd have to be in this orientation, which means that my uh, thumb would be pointing down and the magnetic field would be in the negative Z direction everywhere within the solenoid. So it's, instead of one X, you know it everywhere, so you can draw a bunch of X's, and that would be the B field for a solenoid, and it'd be the opposite case, of course, if it was going in a clockwise fashion. Uh, but to practice once again, once again, to curl your hands in a clockwise fashion, um, to curl your fingers in a clockwise fashion, your thumb is pointing up. Therefore, the B field everywhere within a solenoid is up, whether it's positive Z or not. Okay? This by the way, also works for things that aren't in the XY plane. If you had a current curling around like this, it's tough to see, but suppose you had a current curling around like this, it goes basically coming around like this, going in, then coming out like this. 
you still you can curl your hand in the direction of the current and the direction your thumb faces would give you the direction of the B field. So the B field would be like this, basically in the negative X direction, for this case here. Or you can do any direction you want. You can do like this. If the current was running around, say this way, it's coming, uh, coming out and then going in, out, in. Uh, you rotate your hands in the direction of the current. Curl your direction. Curl your hands in the direction of the current, and your fingers, and your fingers would, and your thumb points this way. So the field would be going like this through the uh, wire or solenoid. So it works in any orientation, but we're just going to stick to this orientation for the test. All right. So that's it. Those are the three cases. Hopefully those videos uh, helped and cleared things up.